Well, hello, 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 you. Okay, so it actually is, yes, it's indeed uh, February 4th. Um, that's okay. Um, you know, I'm still doing the video today, and I will finish one uh, before um, midnight on February 4th itself. Um, so I will get back into the absolute risk of it. But I'm still making a video for the day, um, kind of commenting on what happened on February 3rd. So February 3rd, I actually did get some packing done. I'm really proud of that. I got some packing. There's the bear. He wants to say hi. He must say hi. And I love it when he says hi. He's a beautiful boy. He's a very handsome boy. His brother's over there. He had a little poopy on the floor there, but that's okay. That's okay. Come here, bear. Where are you going? Bear. Come here. Come here. Good boy. Good boy. He's a special boy. He's a special boy. So, hang on. Well, I'm going to close this door here, buddy. Are you staying here with us? Whoa. Okay. All right. So, um, okay. So, what did I get done today? So, um, I got packing done. I got um, a number of media items organized into um, a number of media or items organized, like uh, audio tapes and some video tapes and some DVDs and some CDs. I got those organized into a bin um, that's not like a drawer bin, but just like a bin, which is good because those are the things that I'm not necessarily going to just hit the ground running using. So I want things in drawers that are things that I'm going to be using more commonly so I can get easy access to them. There's the bear over there. Um, I took down the uh, wall thing that was there before. Um, took that down. I think I took that down maybe late last night after I did the video or something. But anyway, so I took that one down last night. I got to take the one down in the, in the in the dining area. I got some dishes in there and a bag on the floor that I need to make sure they're cleaned up and rinsed off. I got most of the Christmas stuff packed up the way I want it to. Um, that media bin has some more room for some things, but I got to find if there's anything else I need to put in that bin um, that will, you know, get me through to, um, that will, you know, get me to where I, um, let me get my train of thought. And to see if there's any other items that are media that I need to put inside that bed. <laughs> before I close it up, I beg your pardon. So I got to work on that. Um, I got some hats organized. I got some bins um, delivered today. I bought these um, under bed storage bins that are kind of like 40 quarts. They're sterilite again, but you know, pretty good. I actually think they're a little bit better than the Irish ones and they were a little less expensive. But so they're 40 quarts, <clears throat> but they're longer and kind of shorter. So the whole goal is, is that you could fit them under pieces of furniture if you want to slide them under things. And actually, I have the iris one I'm going to use for blankets to like put under one of the love seats so that we can access it and things like that. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, what should you say? Um, uh, I want to do paperwork wise. Oh, I contacted T-Mobile because I've been having trouble getting this thing resolved with these. I have over $700. Well, it's not for me. For Marie and I. 500 will be for my stuff, 200 will be for hers, but it's resolving these gift cards that we got as a result of our um, transferring over to T-Mobile from AT&T. So um, anyway, so that's the deal with that. Um, yeah, so um, I got that resolved um, with, the, with them. Um, um, let's see, what else? Um, all right, I've got that in the process. I gotta get that done this weekend. Um, I still haven't completed this thing I have to do for BET uh, to validate because I didn't finish the, the I didn't go to the BET training. Um, so I need to finish that this week too. So I've got a number of things I got to finish, um, uh, including, let's see what else I need to finish. Um, I need to look at these documents I got from, um, from Northwest registered agent who helped me set up the LLC for uh, access today. I got to look at that today because that needs, I need to make sure that there's nothing I need to sign or review or be aware of on that documentation. Um, I'm going to go see my mom and my brother. Oh, that's a good one for my mom and my brother. My mom and my brother on late February 3rd, um, probably around nine, ten, around 10 o'clock or something like that, um, they actually got noticed that their electricity was finally turned back on over at their community, which is great because it means that they're going to get to go back to go to, to go stay in their apartment tomorrow, and that's great um, because you know it's hard to be away from a home, especially you know 
if you don't like traveling and you don't like being at hotels and all that jazz. And sometimes as you get older, you don't really like that. I still love hotels and things like that, but it'd be hard to travel with those beautiful little puppies. So I'm going to enjoy my time with them and travel as much as I can with them. But, um, but it's hard to do that when you're, when, you know, when you're older and if you don't like traveling and doing all that, um, it's actually pretty interesting how disillusioned my mom has become with Austin because when she was living in Houston, she kept saying, oh, I'm going back to Austin. I don't like Houston. I don't like Houston. Well, she got back here and she kind of started to see the issues that I was seeing with Austin, um, which is the politics here. The people who are in charge here are, you know, they're increasingly incompetent, in my opinion, uh, than they have been in years Um so in 2005, 2007, 8, something like that, I started to notice the problems. And then when I left in 2010 and moved to Houston, you know, I knew that Austin was not going to be a place I wanted to live uh, in any consistent way uh, ever again because I knew that the landscape and the dynamic of the city was changing. And my mom, you know, kind of just, you know, lived nostalgically in what Austin was before, but now she's seeing the problems that are occurring here um, and knows that, you know, Austin may not be the final destination, you know, it may be that there's some other place, but she's definitely disappointed with um, what she's seen in these, especially these last, this last week with everything like that. Um, so, um, what else? Uh, excuse me. Um, um, uh, I got an appointment on the 24th of April to do a eligibility, uh, meeting with the folks over at, uh, Metro Access. Um, also there's a new BET consultant who wants to meet with me, which is really hard to do because, uh, the team I have works very tight and on a very low, on a very uh, tight budget. And don't have a lot of time to kind of hang around and do all that stuff. So I'm going to have to encourage them to, you know, go and look at the facilities. And then I'll be glad to come and meet with them in the office and, you know, get acquainted with them if that's what they want to do. Maybe meet with them and Lewis at the same time just to make the, the, the meeting as beneficial as possible. Um, um, so they kind of, you know, keep that in perspective. Um, anyways, so those are kind of the things that are going on uh, right now. Is there anything else I missed? So, I, oh, I got a bunch of the smaller drawers organized too. I got, um, I've got a drawer. Uh, I think I started, I started doing that yesterday, but I still kind of continue to evolve it today with certain electronics and certain drawers. So, like, I have um, all the, the facial care dermatology products in one drawer right now. Um, not, I have uh, like you know. Um, um, foot-related devices and things like that in the drawer. Oh, as a matter of fact, I need to put that one thing in there, in that drawer. I'm glad we talked about that. Um, I have another kind of foot-related device that I need to put in there. It's like for hair and nails, and this is a foot device. I mean, I may need to put that in there to try and see if I can, um, you know, take care of that. Um, let's see. Um, hair, teeth, and nails and things like that. Um, let's see what else is there. What else is there? Is there anything else? Oh, well, I, I will talk about this because I did do this a lot uh, this evening, just before I made this video. I was actually watching, um, so my eyes may look a little puffy. I don't know if it does what they do or not, but um, I was thinking about this uh, movie that I saw years ago uh, called Ordinary People, which was released in 1980. As a matter of fact, it was the directorial debut of, um, of uh, Robert Redford, uh, who, who did a fantastic job of making this film, by the way. Um, originally, they wanted him to play Conrad, or not Conrad, um, Calvin in the film, Cal uh, Jarrett in the film, but uh, he didn't want to do that role. Uh, he felt it was too um, expected for him to do that role, so he put someone else in, another fantastic actor by the name of Donald Sutherland, who just blew it out of the water. I mean, really, Robert Redford is an amazingly good director, and he knows how to bring a cast together. Solid, solid, solid director. One of the best, in my opinion. Um, and I've only seen a few of his films, but he's a fantastic director. Very capable director. Um, so, uh, Robert Redford did that film, and um, I was going over some of the dialogue that was in there that was important to me, that really affected me, which was like, 
um, if you haven't seen Ordinary People, so it was based off of a book that was written in that was released in 1976. I think it was written in 75 by a lady named Judith Guest. Um, and uh, it was adapted to a film in 1980, as we were talking about, with um, uh, Robert Redford as the director. Uh, and I think Judith Geth helped in some degree with some of the writing of the of the movie. But I think uh, there was a couple of other people involved who wrote, helped adapt it for the screen. But uh, So the book has some differences from the movie, but I think uh, overall they both have their own spirit and interesting, and interesting tale. So it's worth checking out. If you can find the book... Um, I don't know if it's on an accessible format, unfortunately, but if you can find the book, it, um, it's a great book. Uh, I'm sure I haven't, I haven't read it. Um, I would love to read it. I'm going to try and find an accessible format of it if I can, but, um, I'd love to read the book, but I've seen the movie, but I actually auditioned. So at some point they adapted the movie, uh, and the book into a play. And it's about, you know, uh, this relationship with the, this relationship with of this family after um, the death of one of the sons in a boating accident. And the surviving son actually tried to commit suicide as a result of his guilt after his brother's death because he was in the water with them when this boating accident occurred. And he has survivor's guilt. And so he tried to kill himself and ended up in a mental hospital and had electric shock therapy and kind of is struggling to try and re-enter the world after spending some time in a hospital. Um, uh, the cast is great. Uh, I mentioned Donald Sutherland. It's also got an amazing performance, and I mean heart-wrenchingly good performance, by uh, Mary Tyler Moore, who doesn't play someone who's very emotional, but it's because of the way she plays it that you just you're just really convinced at how amazing of a performer she truly is. Everybody thought of her as comedy, but man, if she, if, if, if some of the greatest tragedy comes from comedy, this lady has the most amazing, had the most amazing gift for a uh, dramatic performance. So Mary Tyler Moore, during the making of the film, it actually is uh, said that during the making of the film, um, she actually lost her only son and her sister. And it's um, it's known that her sister committed suicide. They don't know if her son intentionally killed himself or if it was an accidental uh, death because he was messing around with a gun and he uh, ended up shooting himself. But they don't know if it was intentional suicide or just an accidental uh, so, you know, um, self kill. Um, but, um, but anyways, it was, it, she lost those while she was making that movie and both of those people while she was making that movie. So it's, it's amazing that, um, she was able to survive that and also just the pain she had to be feeling and to do all the things she accomplished during the time she was making that film. Um, very talented performer. God rest, God rest, rest in peace. God rest her soul. Mary Tyler Moore. Timothy Hutton was fantastic in it. He played uh, Conrad, the guy who, uh, the young man who uh, attempted to kill himself after his brother survived. Uh, Judd Hirsch, who's well known for Taxi, for playing Alex on Taxi and playing the father of um, Jeff Goldblum's character in um, in um, Independence Day. He's in the film. Very good. It, 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 Judd Hirsch is just a really good actor. Um, he was also in the the Tower Heist uh, for a couple of scenes with uh, Ben Stiller and Eddie Murphy. He's fantastic in that film as well. But he has a very brief role. It's not as it's not as consequential as his role in you know uh, you know Independence Day or his role in Taxi, and definitely not as as uh, um, as uh, powerful and 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 and, and um, impactful as his character is in Ordinary People, the movie. But he does a fantastic job. Very, I mean, just the cast is outstanding. Once again, I, I kind of said this before. Robert Redford is an incredibly good director. He's great at casting. He knows how to put people together. And uh, I think it worked out very well. Um, so if you get a chance to, go see Ordinary People. Ordinary People. Read the book if you can find the book. If you can find it in accessible format, that's even better. If you have a sight impairment, uh, read the book version and then see the movie version. But I, I think they both follow each other fairly well. 
uh, based on what I'm learning about having did doing a little research on it on encyclopedia. Um, so water did not do water today, um, but that's okay. Um, the video thing is staying consistent. The organization thing is coming along. Um, I'm feeling confident that I'm going to be able to get there. Um, I just got to start hustling more and more. But I kind of feel like as I'm putting little things in place and getting them out of the way, I think I'm making strides towards the big stuff, which is great and which is what I want to do. So I still going to have to make time to where I can get over to that storage unit. And we are now, let's see, what is today is the fourth. So four, so uh, 28 was 20. So this will be 25 days plus the two days. So we're now at 27 days before the move. So less than a month. Um, what is that? Uh, just shy of four weeks, just shy of four weeks. So, um, um, anyways, I think that's it for today. I hope that you had a good Friday. Um, I know it's still kind of cool in the central Texas area. Um, there's still, you know, things going on in central Texas and I hope people are getting their electricity back. Um, I know it's a struggle. I know it's challenging. I know it's disappointing when your leaders don't have, don't have, it's not that they don't have good plans. It's almost as though they don't have plans at all. Um, it, it just shows how much the system needs to be uh, re revamped and re and, and reestablished. And we need to let go of all of the, uh, you know, the woke nonsense stuff because it's really not advancing culture. It's, 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 it's um, the evolving our society uh, in, in the effort of saying it wants to evolve our society, it's actually destroying our society. Uh, we've got to let go of fringe nonsense and, and move on to things that are substantive. Um, all right. Well, God bless you. Take care of you. Take care of your family. Hug the people you have in your life. Enjoy those moments and those precious times with people and beautiful spirits like those over there. Look at this special. 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 Simba, Simba. Simba, Simba. Come here, baby. There's my Simba. Come sit, Angel. What are you doing, buddy? Come sit. Simba, come here. Come sit. Hi, Simba. Hi, Bear. Oh, I love when I get kisses. They're the beautifulest boys in the world. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Take care of you and your family. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. I'll still be here later today, but God bless. Take care. Bye. You want to say bye? You want to say bye? Well, put your head up. Hi. High five. High five. Good job. Simba, high five. High five. Good boy. Good boy. This is good voice. All right. Take it easy. Have a great weekend.